Welcome to the West Coast Sport Fishing Show.com. I'm Chuck Myers. On today's show, Keith and I are continuing our series on Fort Lauderdale with our pro staff co host, Kurt Bowman. Join us as we explore the many fishing holes and water walls on the intercoastal waters from Fort Lauderdale to Miami, Florida. You don't want to miss this show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. a 14-year-old girl that hair doesn't matter. When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It takes a man to be a dad. When I'm under, I don't breathe. I'm weightless. My heart races. I'm floating away. And when it's over, all I think about is doing it again. Michael Swan is under the influence of his volunteer swim coach. By spending time coaching, he helps Michael stay off the street and off drugs. Be a coach, a mentor, a volunteer, because you have something to offer. Today we decided to stay inside the intercoastal waterway. There's a myriad of different fish we can catch. We're going to run down to Hallover Inlet and try to catch some tarpon uh, by the charter boat docks. Uh, as you can see, the weather's real windy. And they're calling for even worse weather to come. So we're going to make the most of the day by fishing inshore. And uh, if it gives up here a little bit, we'll, uh, we'll head offshore and give it a shot. Uh, hopefully we'll get a tarpon, jack for bells. There's a catch sharks, snapper. There's a probably a two dozen different species we can catch in the intercoastal here with a proper bait um, but we're just keeping our fingers crossed that the wind dies down a little bit that we can make it offshore live bait a little bit because the sailfish bite's been extremely good the past couple weeks and there's been an unusual run of yellow fins offshore which we typically don't get 
but they've been here and we're going to try to give that a shot. So um, that's all we're doing now. No, it's not. There's a fish. Okay, yeah, there's a fish. Here it comes. Oh, it is. We're, we're drifting back towards it so fast. Come on, Tarver. Oh, it's getting bad now. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice little fight. Oh. Straight down. Straight down here, Chuck. Color. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's taking a nice run. Ooh, Dorado. Huh? <laughs> Jack Rebel. Yeah, yeah. You get a close. You don't want to do it. Things are pretty nasty as far as flipping around. It's called a Jack Rebel. Get the pliers out so it's done. We're probably going to want to lay them on the floor to try to get that hook out. Cool, nice fight. Woo! <laughs> that was cool, man. Watch this. <laughs> Any second now. Oh! <laughs> Hook up! <laughs> Woohoo! And he hit that thing like it was a uh, ton, didn't he though? It felt great when he hit it. Oh. If you want, we can go ahead and cut that front hook off. Okay. Cut the front hook off and make it a little bit easier to hook these things. Or we could actually just put a jig on there. If we troll a jig through there. Right. I'll probably hit that just as hard with this feather here. Right. You have a single hook jig? Uh, well, we have this feather we had rigged up for uh, tuna. This grab part. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, he's got some sharp teeth. <laughs> I think I'll leave this to the pliers. If I should have threw a towel. I think on the side that Chuck's on. the uh, outfit you're working oh, there with. Oh, got bumped. Uh, this is the Acura 870. Great reel. We got 20 pound test on here. This thing is just phenomenal. You fight it, it feels like a switch watch working on it. That's a beautiful reel. Six to one ratio. Nice lab clicker. Uh, Jack or Bell. And the like yellow jig, so we can put a yellow jig on there and then we'll get in. Oh, got 
got him! Yeah! <laughs> This is a little bit better one right here. A little bit better. Here it comes. Okay. And the pliers? Do you have the pliers oh, yeah, sir. Right here. Thanks, sir. Wow, what a beautiful fish, huh? Look at that. Just delicious looking. And they're good eating. Thank you! Oh, those fish are just awesome. They're stacked up over here. Let's go get another one. We're gonna give them a chance. We're gonna use six pound tests. See what these jacks got. Yeah. What's the reel? What is this, Kurt? That's a uh, 450. Right on. Pin? Pin yeah. 450? Cool. Yeah, we've got six pound uh, suffix. About six pound suffix here? line, and we have a tiny little uh, uh, spoon on there. A little crocodile spoon. About a pound of drag on it? Yeah, about a pound of drag. Right on. Yeah. That'll be great. side because we might have shoved that school of fish over for some rocks. Check it out, man. What is that? It looks like someone's belly. Yeah, probably lost it walking on the beach. Man, just leave it. Let's go. I wish I could go back. Back when I didn't need someone to do my hair. Back when I could still say my husband's name. Back when I could have called 911 but didn't. Back when I first felt the warning signs of a stroke but did nothing. I wish I could go back, but I can't.
With a stroke, time lost is brain lost. At the first warning signs, take action immediately. What would you like to say to AJ and Heather? Um, that I love them a lot and that I'm going to miss them. They're not going anywhere. I know, but I am. Where are you going? Back to Atlanta. You can always move here. Well, when, you, when you marry Joey, you can move back up here. We can all get our nails done again. We can make it a tradition. I'm getting really embarrassed. One day, you were simply struggling to be a dad. The next, you're coping with a diagnosis of childhood cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. jack oh, Hook up, big boy. Look at that thing go. I go to the balance, you guys can get some broken foot in there. How big do you think it is? It's plenty big. We're just trolling for these, huh? Yeah, just right down the seawall, and they like to hide out by the pilings and stuff and then ambush whatever comes by. And uh, in this case, it was a little yellow feather. Boy, did it ever ambush it. I think dump line like crazy. <laughs> I mean, if you kill a quick one? Oh, yeah. Where oh, are you stuck on the bottom? Bottom. Uh, absolute bottom. Oh, man. Here, you go to the bow and I'll bow you up there. Maybe you can. Uh, I can do it. Well, sometimes we'll run this side. Of the Unless you have to grab on. Must be a piece of stuff stuck up here. Something up. It came out from underneath. Maybe not. Lucky like drug us under something. You know what it is? Yeah, he drugged you under something. Watch out. Is he still on? Yeah. He's in some rocks or something. He's got me around something. I can feel it. Jump in, Kurt. Dude, what if I had a mask? He just came out. Oh, it's a big cat. Look at him. He was definitely around something. Yeah, he took off and went into the rocks. Let me get a glove. I'll grab him. Here, bring him this way. Grab Hang on a second. Another line hanging on. Does he? Yeah. See off his belly? Yeah. This guy's been terrorizing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right in the belly. There's uh, a poor guy. Just pulled this out of him. He'll, so he was better off. We caught him. Yeah. Oh, oh man, we bent that hook, dude. Or was that you bending? I think I just do Those it. Those are tough. <laughs> you want the uh, wire? I think I can get it. Yeah, pull one in. There you go. Uh, I'm going to be caught up for three days. Okay, slow, slow on the release. Sometimes they'll talk. Here, yeah, get this speaker next to them. Getting hot fired up before you let him go. There he goes. Oh, all right. Good job, Kurt. Woohoo! Good, Good job, Keith. <laughs> nice release, bro. Heck of a jack, man. Yeah. Get Keith to move to the East Coast over here. He'll become the, the jack tagger. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
this is fine, you have to be careful for it. A lot of guys would just grab these things right there. They are lethal. Neat fish. Here's a goggle eye. A slippery eye. A slippery eye. <laughs> they also make noise. And we typically hook them either through the nostril or in the back if we're sail fishing. But being that we're trying to uh, catch a tarp and we want our bait to swim deep, stick it right here in the butt. That causes the fish to swim straight down. Uh, maybe I could. Uh... Oh, there this one doesn't want to swim down. But uh, that's the whole gist of the out of the pirate right now. This tarp would have to see pretty good, I guess, huh? Well, they're hearing that struggling fish. What's bizarre about the carpet is, you know, it's a crying shame it's such a rough day because when all these charter boats come back in at 12, they clean their catch. All the tarp from wherever they're at, they know it, they come over here. Like clockwork. Where they go in between. They'll know this would be great if you hook one out here. Pop? Something's up. Bye bye. Something's up. I think. Wait. Let me get back with you, Rick. I think we're on fish. Right. It's pretty tight. I don't know nah, if it's fish. Might be stuck on the bottom. Just, uh, just you know, lock it up. God. Oh, no. Nice. Woohoo! We call that bird's nest. Bird's nest. That's when you, you know what we call it here in Florida. What's that? Chuck, the name of that boat over there. That white boat sticking out. You can see the name on the front. Knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is it ever a knucklehead. <laughs> a wrap on the leader I'm picking up on that thing that leader dude this thumb. thing is whatever it is it's wrapped around something down there and it thumped very hard with a very huge thumb I don't know what it is see it then just yeah. did it again now there's something there that's why he lost the other one there's oh there's a leader right there I'm pulling this around Oh man, it just thumped hard again. Hey Keith, what do you got going on over there? Yeah. Does it feel like uh, maybe something crazy? Nothing. As we suspected, it could have been a crocodile. Probably a crocodile. Yeah, there was nothing there. Oh! Oh! Yeah, there was nothing there. Oh my gosh! Wow! Let's go back. Well, let's go back. Uh, okay? Yeah, I see it might be a big shock. That's a shark. That's a big one. Oh. I can tell by the bite. When we filmed this show last year in Florida, they were hit with six major hurricanes and they were recovering from them back then. This year, it has been the worst ever recorded. Thirteen major hurricanes. First there was Katrina and then there was Wilma. Kurt and his family were deeply affected by Wilma. These storms have shattered lives. 
Keith and I urge you, if you can, to please give to the American Red Cross to help those in need. So, hey, seriously, what happened out there? I thought Noah said this was going to be a great week, sunshine and, you know, 80 degrees, you know, 70 degrees at night, and you know, we go out there, and what happened? Well, that's why we call it I Don't Noah to begin with. Um, they don't <laughs> I know don't know a, a thing. Yeah. Um, it never rains in January, nor do we get lightning. That's it's right. It's a crying shame you guys didn't come in January. This is the middle of February well, when they, I told you there's a lot of lightning. In well, they, you know, we have a song about California. It never rains there either. So. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so what was that, like a 90% uh, covering of air gone and just all water in the air? Or? Yeah, pretty much. That's called precipitation down here, right, a rainstorm. Right. So, Kurt, why did we have to stop and hide out in that uh, campground in that park? What was the deal? Uh, I didn't want to kill either one of you. I know that uh, you have a wife and kids, and I just didn't <laughs> want to have to send you back in a pine box. It and was, was uh, I raining that pretty would be hard. the smartest thing that a captain could do. The rain wasn't so bad, even though it looked it's like a lightning. couple of fire hoses, but the lightning and the thunder, the that lightning wasn't my kill idea of The fun. lightning will kill you. Yeah, so um, you think we'll be able to get out again? or? Yeah, I, I, think, uh, I, I think the weather's pointing in the direction that yeah. we'll probably be able to go sail fishing today. Uh, okay. We went Jack Gravel fishing today, and we were extremely successful at that. That's or, right. I should say Keith was. Yes. And uh, we didn't want to mess with the tarpon. No. Nope. And uh, tomorrow, selfish. That's right. There's only 30% chance of rain instead of 80. Yes. And there will be no lightning. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. doesn't lightning here. No lightning. That's right. It doesn't lightning. Yet. Okay. We're going to take him up on that tomorrow. So I just want to say one thing. Now, Kurt, when we first got here and we were really concerned about the weather and, and I asked you about thunder and lightning when I told you that it was on the weather channel and you said that it never does that here in January. Is that correct? Yes, it never rains, nor do we We get. have a gigantic crow from him, yeah. for him, from <laughs> California. Yes, it never lightnings in uh, January. Uh, what happened, I do not know, and I still don't know. But we are going home, and we're going to get on the computer and figure it out. All right. So can we go get dry? Let's go. Fishing is fun, and for the future, practice CPR. Catch, photograph, and release. For our children and their children. Thanks for joining us for Keith Poe and myself. We'll see you next time right here on the westcoastsportfishingshow.com.